How are you, young man? I'm very fine. Yes, we are privileged to have you in our studio. Are you aware that you are the one who gave us the right answer for the MQTC episode 008? I have just been informed right away by you, sir, right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I rise here right now, at this moment. Wow, congratulations once again. Yes. Yeah, today I want to present uh, our MQTC episode 008 gift. When we are live, so that you can be able to see us. Is Moses, she also is the one who gave us the right answer for the MQTC episode 008. What are you waiting for? Next time you might be the one being given the same, same gift. Keep participating. Now, before I present this gift to you, what can you tell the viewers? Um, MQTC is a very simple sum to participate, so just go to YouTube right away and uh, do the sum that has been presented and earn this quick money that um, I want to earn right now here. Wow, congratulations. congratulations. Now, I want to present the, the gift. Congratulations. This is the gift. So See you next you. time. Keep participating. Thank you. I want to welcome you to MQTC 009. But remember, we are supposed to give the solution for MQTC episode 008. So I want us to go through the solution. So I will start by saying a uh, solution for MQTC episode 008. The question was solve for X in, then you are given the, the equation as uh, 2 raised power X minus 3 times 8 raised power X squared minus, that's plus 2, uh, is equal to 128. From indices point of view, we will make the basis to be the same or true. So you will see us saying 2 raised power x minus 3 times 2 raised power 3 into brackets x squared plus 2 is equals to 2 raised power 7. 2 raised power 7 gives us 128. 2 raised power 3 is the one which gives us 8. Therefore, we can now uh, use still the concept of indices where there is a multiplication and hence the base are the same, we add the powers. You will see us saying uh, x minus 3 plus 3 into brackets x squared plus 2 is equals to 7. Opening the brackets, we will have x minus 3, then plus 3x squared plus 6 is equals to 7. Put like terms together, we will have 3x squared uh, plus this x. Then we remain with minus 3 plus 6 we are equals to 7. We can bring 7 back by saying 3x squared plus x. Then minus 3 plus 6 is positive 3. Then we bring positive 7 to the other side, which will be minus 7 is equals to 0. This will give us 3x squared plus x minus 4 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation, which we can solve using factorization method. We can now find sum and product. Sum is the coefficient of x. In this case, this is our x. Behind x, there's nothing. That means we have 1. Then the coefficient of x square is a. In this case, it is 3. Then the constant c is minus 4. So when you multiply the 2, you will obtain 12. That's minus 12. You will obtain minus 12. Then if we have minus 12 as our product, sum as 1, we can look for two factors or two numbers. When you add them, you get 1. When you find the product, you get minus 12. The numbers will be positive 4 and minus 3. So where we have this x, we will remove the x and put 4 and minus 3. So we can say 3x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then we put two terms together by introducing the brackets as shown. We now look for the common factor. This one we, we, we will say 3x is common inside the brackets. 
we bring it out, we remain with x minus 1. On the other side, 4 is common, we will remain with x minus 1 is equal to 0. The, the factors that are out is 3x plus 4. Then, because the two are the same, we only pick 1. Therefore, we can say 3x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 1 is equal to 0. 3x is going to be equivalent to minus 4 or on the other side we can say x is equal to 1 because minus 1 taken to the other side it becomes positive. So we can divide by 3, we can divide by 3 on both sides. The first power of x becomes minus 4 over 3 or 1. So that's how you have to do it and get the answer. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time. Yes, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to MQTC episode 009 question. Our question says, given that the three points A, B, and C are on the circumference of a circle as shown below, determine the center of the circle. Point A has the coordinates 1, 5. Point, point B has the coordinates 5, 5. Point C has the coordinates 6, 4. Good lucky. See you next time.